Stanford in their home white uniforms while Washington's wearing their road purple. Let's get some starters for the Cardinal. Number one freshman Jenna Gray who's taken over the role at the setter position from senior Kelsey Humphreys. Number two Catherine Plummer will be starting as well tonight. The kill leader for the Cardinal and one of the better players learning to play the back line as of late in the absence of Haley Hodson and Michaela Keefe. Number four, Kelsey Humphreys will be starting. She's now settled in as more of just a defensive player on the back line with Jenna Gray taking over the setter role. Number 12, Inki Ajanaku, the fifth year senior, will be starting tonight. Good to see her playing healthy again. She didn't play in the game against UCLA. Out with an ankle injury, hobbling around. Made a nice comeback at USC, and it's good to see her healthy. Also starting for the Cardinals, sophomore Holland McKenna, whose defense gave the Cardinal a big win at number 25 USC on Sunday, as she really controlled the back line with Morgan Hens. Number 24, Adriana Fitzmorris will be starting as well. The 6'6 outside hitter, the sophomore. And so with the addition of two setters on the starting roster, uh, Cardinal have a very defensive look about this. McKenna back to serve. McPherson digs it out, struggles with it. Schwan hits it, goes far side for Scambray. Brock back down, Washington regains. They go far side for Scambray. Once again, blocked down. Ajanaku on the block. In there as well was Jenna Gray. Ajanaku making her presence known early. She was uh, out, I believe, for the UCLA game, but she came back strong today. McKenna back to serve again. Dug by Schwan. Play at the net. Ajanaku's there. Good card awareness from the fifth year senior. And she hits it right back down. Second point of the game for the Cardinal. And this little mini rally is keyed by some excellent serving by, uh, by McKenna in the back. Oh, McKenna back to serve from the near right corner. She gets another go down. McPherson struggles with it. Hitting it far side. Scambray. Three ball it over to Hoog. Jenna Gray is there. She hits it back down and she gets the kill off the block. And Jenna Gray, the setter, coming in as an outside hitter in that position, digging the overpass and uh, taking that overpass and pounding it down. Jenna Gray with three straight games at three kills. She's been playing well all around. McKenna back to serve. McPherson sets far side for DeHoog. Off the block. Hence digs it out. McKenna will set near side for Plummer. Off the block. Washington struggles. Three balling it over. Where the Huskies? And they send it just long, and the point goes to the Cardinal. Ooh, that was so close. Uh, from my perspective there, it looked like it was in, but uh, it fell out. And uh, this uh, four-point rally to start the first set is very promising for the Cardinal against number 17 in the country. Washington's not a slouch. They've only lost two games this year. That was to Washington State and against the Cardinal. Stanford has had ownage in the series, but as of late, Washington playing really well and good volleyball. They've been consistently in the top 25 for a couple weeks now and have been dominating opponents. And so uh, a little bit of a side note, uh, I was, uh, our, our sports information director for Stanford Women's Volleyball mentioned that occasionally when I'm on the broadcast, uh, the Cardinal have a tendency to perform poorly. However, when I went on that trip to uh, Seattle, the Cardinal pulled out, pulled out a really, really gritty five-set victory. And so apparently my uh, bad luck curse was, uh, was, uh, is something that um, doesn't affect when the Cardinal play the Huskies. It seems like when I'm here, for matches against the Huskies, the Cardinals seem to do well. And so far, uh, this four-point rally to start the match, we're still crossing our fingers, of course, but it uh, portends better things to come for the Cardinals. And if you can be on every call for the win, <laughs> we always love it. Stanford up 4-0 early. Good to see them starting off the set strong. They have struggled at times starting out sets and closing them. They've gotten better down the stretch. But he's looking to get that strong start here. Uh, John Akum and Plummer up front at the net. Those two do so well together, forming a wall defensively. Holland McKenna back to serve. Waiting on the referees. They give the whistle and McKenna goes back to serve. The sophomore gets a good one down. Tanner sets, far side for Scambray. And she gets the first point of the game for the Huskies. 
And Pia Scambray caused a lot of trouble for the Cardinal in that match up in Seattle. She's hit so well and puts a lot of power and zip behind her ball. Destiny in July checks in the game to serve for the Huskies. The righty gets it over, hence digs. Gray sets far side for Ajanaku off the slide. Play at the net, and Plummer's there to get the kill. Morgan Hentz goes back to serve. From the near right corner. The freshman sensation takes a couple dribbles, gets it over nicely. Getting to a far side for Scambray. Off the block, the Cardinal are there, and they get the point as Fitzmorris was there for the block. So far, at every point that the Cardinal has registered, that uh, the Cardinal have served, it's been all keyed by excellent serving at the start. Hence, back to serve again. McPherson digs. Tanner sets. Up the middle goes the Huskies. Dug out by Hence. Gray sets. Near side for Plummer. Roll shot. Dug out by the Huskies. Tanner sets. From the back line goes Schwan. Humphreys gets to it. Almost hits the Jumbotron. It does. And they gave it the whistle there. If the ball touches the Jumbotron, the point goes to the team who was on the attack. There's been some questionable calls at times this season. With that, Scambray goes back to serve from the far left corner. Plummer digs it. From the back line, Gray will set near side for Plummer. Overpass from the Huskies. It goes out of bounds, and the point goes to the Cardinal. A big swing right there from Catherine Plummer. And it was a tough, tough dig by Catherine Plummer and an even tougher set by Jenna Gray, but she put it in a really good position for Plummer to finish. 7-2, the Cardinal are up early. Gray goes back to serve, far right corner. She gets a good one down, Scambray struggles with it. Gray sets near side, off the block, and Chrissy Jones will pick up the third point of the game for the Huskies. Chrissy Jones heads back to serve now after picking up the point for Washington. Takes a couple dribbles. Gets it over the net. Hence digs. Gray sets. Far side for Plummer off the block. They get the point. And Stanford so far, five kills, no hitting errors. They hit really well against USC. Plummer with... 11 kills, only two hitting errors in that game. And she goes back to serve here. Standing serve, it's a good one. McPherson for Tanner. They go far side for Schwan. Off the block, Plummer digs it out. Gray sets near side for Vonyak, who just checks in the game. And she gets the point off the block. And now the look is with uh, Ivana Vonyak, Moretta Lutz, and Adriana Fitzmorris up in front. Very, very tall lineup, and Vonyak was hitting very well in practice. Plummer back to serve once again. The Cardinals' run has been fueled by serving, and it goes just a little bit long here. It's a service error for the Cardinal. 9-4, Stanford up early. Yeah, that was a little too flat of a serve that didn't have the drop that was necessary and just sailed out long. Tanner back to serve now for the Huskies. Plummer digs it. Gray goes a long way to set it. From the back line goes Plummer. Off the block, the Huskies dig it out. Scambray goes far side for Schwan. Off the block, Hence digs it out. Gray will set near side for Vonyak. She gets a big swing down. McPherson digs it out. They set from the back line. Goes the Huskies. Moretta Lutz will set it, three ball it over. It's Hence. They give the point to the Huskies. Now they're going to call four touches on that one because the, uh, the dig by Jenna Gray bounced off of Plummer. 9-5, the Huskies playing well. Tanner on the serve. Plummer digs. Gray sets. Near side for Vonyak. And she gets the big kill near side. Yeah, that's the design play for Vonyak where they stack it with Moretta Lutz. And Vonyak just came in and just put so much heat on that. The Cardinal did a little bit of some stacking in the first set against UCLA in which they stole on the road. They kind of got away from it and dropped the last three, but got back to it at USC, and they ended up sweeping the Trojans there. Tanner sets near side for Schwan off the block. Gray digs it out. Sets Morris will set, play at the net, and it rolls over, and it goes out of bounds, and the Huskies pick up the point. 
Yeah, you'll want Adriana Fitzmaurice as your center yeah. in that situation, but that was nothing you could do, and she didn't uh, do a good job of that, unfortunately. It went off, off the tape and rolled awkwardly. Chuan back to serve. The righty sends it straight into the net. Service error, and the Cardinal are back up by five. It's 11-6 as Kelsey Humphreys will sub in the game for Moretta Lutz and go back to serve. Humphreys and Gray have really worked well together now with Gray becoming the full-time setter. Tanner sets up the middle, goes the Huskies, play at the net. Stanford regains possession. Enough near side for Vonyak off the tape. And the Huskies get the point off of a four hit as it went into the net and Ajanik who tried to save it. Coach Dunning uh, sent some instructions over to Vanya Vonyak telling her to settle down a little bit. She's actually performing quite well, but miss hit that shot. McPherson back to serve, Hens digs. Gray sets, near side for Vonyak, and she gets another kill. Ivana Vonyak playing great volleyball as of late. Yeah, that's how you atone for a miss hit. You just pound it down the line and uh, drill the point home for the Cardinal. Vonyak really stepped up her game in the last couple of weeks, sort of settling in, coming off the bench, and just picking up the points of the Cardinal. Need McKenna back to serve, McPherson digs. Tanner will set far side for Scambray. Hence digs it out. Plummer's gonna set far side, three bonded over. It's Humphreys. The dig, Tanner sets from the back line, Chrissy Jones. McKenna gets to it, Humphreys will set near side for Plummer. Off the block, dug out by Schwan. Tanner sets near side for the Hoog. And she gets the kill on the cross court swing. And the Hoog is a tough, tough, tough uh, hitter from the outside and she just found the seam cross court. Beautiful shots. 12-8 Washington's climbing back point by point as the Cardinal look to keep them away. Back to serve for the Huskies, number 18. She gets it over. Plummer digs. Gray set slide. Ajanaku. And she gets the big kill on the slide. Mm. Beautiful to look at Ajanaku make that shot. And uh, she's, you know, been playing multiple positions over, over the course of the season so far. And uh, she can do the role of an outside hitter as well as a middle blocker. Ajanaku playing really well in that game against USC. 11 kills. Service ace from Holland McKenna here. Going back to Ajanico's game at USC, 11 kills and eight blocks in three sets. The Cardinal picked up 14 blocks in that game and got it done defensively. Hens back to serve from the near right corner. McPherson for Tanner. Near side, Chrissy Jones, and she gets the kill off the block. Chrissy Jones, an all-purpose hitter. She can hit from any position, any direction, and uh, she loves to, loves to hit. The, the Huskies love to set it up to her, and in that situation, she tools the block and gets the point for the Huskies. Back to serve Scambray. Plummer digs. Gray sets near side back for Plummer, and she gets another big kill on the outside. And so far, the Cardinal, 10 kills, only one hitting error are getting it done offensively. Absolutely, hitting well and hitting with a lot of power. The Cardinals do outsize the Huskies, but Washington just has a way of getting it done. Stanford up six, though, playing well on their home court. Gray back to serve here. McPherson digs. Tanner sets near side for Jones. McKenna digs it out. Gray will set near side for Plummer. Once again, her roll shot goes near side. As the back line tried to get to it, but the dive was not there, 16-9. Excellent work defensively by Jenna Gray and a very nice set for Catherine Plummer to get that little roll shot. And uh, those roll shots, you know, they don't, they don't look like all that intimidating, but they are so effective when, they, when you can read the Huskies being out of position. The placement of those shots so crucial and Catherine Plummer right there doing a nice job. We have to mention the Cardinal really plays four of their six freshmen this year. The other, Michaela Keefe, played a lot, so that's five. Her twin sister, Caitlin, hasn't played a lot, but this is a very really young team, and going forward, the Cardinal have to be excited about what they've got here on oh, the Oh, absolutely, and moving forward into uh, the latter parts of this season and also potentially for next season, you could see this young core coming together, particularly with Jenna Gray, now full-time setting for the Cardinal. Um, you know, the setter is the key uh, I would say the quarterback of, of any volleyball team. And so with 
with the, this young core gelling around the play of Jenna Gray, this is very, very promising for the Cardinals in future seasons to come. And next season, if Haley Hodson can return to, you know, 75% of what she was like her freshman year, this team is in great shape, especially if Catherine Plummer can move back to the front line. We've seen teams kind of attack her on the back line if she's, as she struggled at that position, but doing her best, making the most, it's tough when a lot of players are playing out of position to fill that role, but she's doing a great job here. Stanford out of the timeout going tall and small with Fitzmorris, Lutz, and Plummer up front. That's 6'6", 6'8", and 6'6", up front with Morgan Hans, Holland McKenna, and Jenna Gray in the back. This is a defensive heavy lineup for the Cardinal. Jenna Gray goes back to serve out of the timeout. Near left corner, she gets a good one down McPherson for Tanner. Near side for Jones, off the block. And McKenna couldn't get to it as it looked like Gray sorta gave that one to Holland McKenna, but Jenna Gray more in position to field that. And Chrissy Jones will go back to serve. Huskies down six early in the first set. She gets a good one down here. Service ace for Chrissy Jones as it just touched the line. But that was just a misread by Holland McKenna. She thought that was going to go out, and uh, she just uh, lay off it, laid off it, and it fell in, hit the line. Jones back to serve. McKenna digs it awkwardly. The set by Gray for Lutz, and she gets the kill off the block. Loretta Lutz standing at 6-8 and uh, taking that shot all the way, uh, using the block as her friend, and the block was out of bounds. Vonyak subs in the game for McKenna as Plummer goes back to serve the Cardinal. Really tall now out on the court. Plummer serving from the near right corner. McPherson struggles with it. Tanner barely getting to it from the back line. Scambray just hits it into the net. And the Cardinal pick up the point off of a hitting error. I think the Cardinal have been serving very, very well throughout this first set. They've been hitting very flat serves that seem to knuckle over and bend a little bit. And it's been causing a lot of trouble for the, Car uh, for the Huskies to try to return. The serving has definitely improved from where this team started out at the beginning of the year. Near side, Plur Schwan play at the net and she's blocked down by Moretta Lutz and Fitzmorris. Some real bad passing on the part of the Huskies, but like you mentioned, Jack, credit that to the serving. Yeah, absolutely. 19-11, Stanford playing well early as Catherine Plummer goes back to serve again. McPherson struggles, Tanner will set awkwardly from the back line, Scambray. Off the block, Plummer digs it out. Gray will set, far side for Lutz, off the block, dug out by the Huskies. Tanner will set from the back line, Scambray. And she gets the kill up the middle. At the end of the game against USC, Inky Ajanaku kind of led her team in the huddle saying that this is how they should be playing every game. And so far they've taken notes and playing well here. Fitzmorris on the outside, gets the big kill. But on that point, I gotta give credit to Jenna Gray for an incredible back set, like literally inches, millimeters away from the net that went to Adriana Fitzmorris for the kill. Jenna Gray really doing a great job as the full-time setter now. And being so young, we can only see where she'll be at in a couple years. Fitzmorris with a good serve here. The Huskies struggle, Tanner. Near side for Schwann, off the block. Gray gets to it. Fitzmorris will set near side. Three ball in it over, it's Vonyak. And they're gonna call it a double hit on Ivana Vonyak. And the point goes to the Huskies. It's still 2013 though, Stanford up seven early. Yeah, it's a minor mistake by uh, Von Vonyak, but she should have known better and just kind of rolled it over or just bumped it over. Schwan on the serve. Plummer digs well. Gray will set near side for Vonyak. Dugging it out, where are the Huskies? From the back line, Schwan hitting it over. Plummer digs. Gray sets up the middle, goes to Jonaku. Schwan able to dig it out. McPherson from the back line. Scambray hits it over. Dug out, Plummer. Vonyak back for Plummer on the back line. Three ball on it over. Dug out. Tanner sets from the back line and getting the kill up the middle was Bajema or Bajema. But on that entire play, the Cardinal were applying the pressure, hitting hard, hitting hard, and just trying to punish the Huskies and get them out of position, but didn't work. Schwan back on the serve, it's a good one. Hence, Gray, far side, Moretta Lutz, off the block, and she gets the point as the kill, or as the block attempt goes out of bounds. Stanford up 21-14, up seven. And it would be huge as the Cardinal have kind of struggled a little bit at home this year. 
They've been great on the road and are 2-0 on neutral court as well. Kelsey Humphreys, one of the other seniors, back to serve. They go far side for Scambray. Humphreys gets to it in time, but the set goes way out of bounds and the point goes to Washington. It's an incredible dig by uh, Kelsey Humphreys going completely, completely flat. Horizontal, let's just say, and uh, just could not finish, unfortunately, for the Cardinal. McPherson back to serve for the Huskies. Plummer digs well. Gray sets, slide, Ajanaku off the block and she gets the kill. The Huskies have no answer for the power play that is Inky Ajanaku. That slide is so effective and it's a guaranteed point for the Cardinal whenever they are able to set her up like that. Ajanaku has struggled a little bit in the last couple of games up the middle. She's, getting, she's gotten blocked a couple times, but playing well here. Tanner sets up the middle, goes Chrissy Jones, dug out by hands. Gray will set near side for Plummer, off the block and they get the kill as Schwann's dig attempt went out of bounds. The Cardinal are two points away from taking the first set. But what an incredible dig by Hans. I just saw it right in front of us, and it was just her reaction time was unbelievable. She dug that out and set up the point for us. McKenna back to serve. It's a good one. McPherson, far side for Scambray, and they get the kill off the block. That's Scambray's fourth kill of the game. And so far through... 39 points, the Cardinal have 16 kills to the Huskies 10, and the Cardinal only have two hitting errors, which is huge for them. Back to serve, 18 for the Huskies. McKenna gets to it, digs it out. Gray sets near side for Plummer, off the block, and she gets the kill on a good swing near side. Absolutely, and she seemed to find the corner right there, and uh, they just found the Huskies out of position and laser beamed it home. Beautiful Set shot. Set point for the Cardinal here in the first. Stanford looking to prove a point here to everyone in the Pac-12. Tanner sets from the back line and sending it long were the Huskies, and the Cardinal take the first point and the first set at home against the Huskies. With surgical precision, Jimmy, and it was uh, amazing to watch. Uh, this, is, this is a very different look and from the Cardinal. We're going to take a quick break here on 90.1, and we'll be back with first set analysis as well as the second set. Thanks for listening. I'm Jimmy Garcia alongside me, Jack Wong, and we'll be right back. 